Hello everyone. Solving uh, the transportation problems uh, required a solution and there are so many methods that you can solve a transportation problem with and finding the basic solution one of the methods is called northwest corner method. According to this method if you are given a problem uh, transportation problem which you can see over here is that the cost of a ship um, transporting from origin to destination one the cost per unit is five dollars and similarly from one to two is ten dollars and from origin one to destination three is ten dollars and these are all the costs given from different origins to different destinations and then you're given the supply is 55 for the first one uh, origin for the second is 80 and for the third is 75 and then in the first uh, destination the demand is 70 in the second it's 100 and in the third it's uh, 40 so if you add the supply it gives us 210 and if you add up the demands it's also 210 so these kind of problems are called um, balanced transportation problems now what the northwest corner method is you can see from the the name is that it says that the northwest corner so what is the northwest corner is the top left corner right so you start from here and it's this this method says that you give this cell at the top uh, left corner um, as much as possible uh, keeping in mind the supply and the demand so we have a supply of 55 so how much we can put up here is 55 and we have to look and uh, look at the on the demand that if the demand is less than 55 we give here all of the 55 and we have left nothing here in the first origin so the first origin have given all of his 55 supply to the first one because the demand was more than 55 so now the demand 70 is not more anymore the demand but 55 has been given so how much is left so you 50 subtract 55 from 70 so that gives us five and one so if you add up that is 60 and one. so 15 is left right and now there is nothing left for in origin one to give it to the second destination and to give it or transport it to the third destination so we cannot use these cells anymore now again uh, we look at the other um, cell now so this one is no more available this one is no more available in the remaining table you look at the north again northwest corner method northwest corner cell which is this one so now in this one how much can we give if we look at the supply the supply is 80 so we can give 80 over here but if you look at the demand the demand is only 15 so we need only 15 so the most that we can give here is 15 to fulfill our demands so the demands are met we don't need any further right so the 15 is taken from the 85 now how much is left here is 65 we have supply left 65 and the demand of the first one is completed it means we don't need anything from the third origin so this becomes zero now again we we are now in these four uh, cells and now which one we choose is the corner one the left upper left corner one so now how much can we give here we have only 65 so we can give 65 but we have to look at the demand the demand is 100 so we can give all of the 65 here right and nothing is left here and how much demand is left now if you give 65 then 35 is left right but there is no more supply so it means the second origin cannot give anything to the third destination so we put a zero over here right so we have now again we have these two cells the north 
corner one is which one the northwest corner one is this one so how much can we give here we have 75 we can give but the demand is only 35 so we give them only 35 to fulfill the demand so the demand of this one is fulfilled now or is met now how much is left here is only 40 if you look at this one we have only one cell left the, dem the supply is 40 and the demand remaining is 40 so we can give the supply here we don't have any supply and we don't need the, the, the all the demands are uh, met so this is how you solve a problem using the northwest corner and now to find out the cost of this one is to just multiply so one unit cost you five dollars so how much will 55 cost you five into 55 plus zero times one unit one unit cost you ten dollars so zero units would cost you zero similarly zero here now twenty dollars is the cost of one unit so if you have 15 units what will be the cost 15 times 20 or 20 times 15 then a plus 30 dollars is the cost of one unit so if you have 65 units how much will be the cost and similarly you have 20 dollars the cost of one unit so if you have 35 units how much will be the cost and then the last one is you have 30 dollars the cost of units so if you have 40 units what will be the cost so if you calculate them and find them then the cost that will be the cost so you can calculate them 55 times 5 20 times 15 30 times 65 20 times 35 and 30 times 40 and add them up this one this one this one this one and this one when you add up and add them up you get the solution over here thank you very much